Hopefully, you've already watched a video on this channel called Setting Up Display for Magic Info Lite, which will allow you to publish full screen content to up to 25 displays without having to buy a license. To take advantage of this video, you need to configure your display to light operation first, so it may be worth a watch if you haven't already. The issue with light is that it doesn't allow you to publish multi-zone content on the same page. For that, you would need to buy a premium license for each screen. But there is a way to achieve a similar effect using the free light licenses. There are a number of programs you could use to produce your content, but I'm going to use PowerPoint in this example since it's widely used and understood. This method also avoids the issues in formatting you may get if you were to use a PowerPoint file directly to schedule. I'm going to be using a 2019 version of PowerPoint for this, but earlier versions should be similar in operation. First, we need to open PowerPoint to ensure that the page aspect is correct. To do this, click the Design tab and then select Slide Size and click on Widescreen 16.9. Now create your presentation in the usual way. If you're intending to use animations or videos in the presentation, you should select the Transition tab on each slide and adjust the advanced slide time to the desired duration. Once your presentation is created, click the File tab and select Save As. Select the location for your file as this PC and then a folder of your choosing. I usually go with a desktop. Give the presentation an appropriate name and then use the drop-down menu on Save As Type to select either JPEG or one of the video options. The main rule of thumb as to which you choose is that if the presentation contains flat content with no animations or video content, then choose JPEG. If your presentation has timings, animations and embedded video, then choose the video option. Once you've made your selection, click Save. If you've chosen to save as a JPEG, PowerPoint will give you the option to save all slides or just this one. Always choose All Slides. If you chose to save as video, there will be a progress bar at the bottom of the screen to show your video being rendered. Your content should now appear in the folder you chose. To upload, you can either use Magic Info Author or upload directly using the server software. Check out the videos on this channel to find out how. Once uploaded, this content can be used with Magic Info Lite to emulate multi-zone content without having to pay for a license, as long as you don't have more than 25 screens. If you'd like me to continue producing more of these videos, please subscribe using the button below and hit the like button if you found this video helpful. Thanks very much.